All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back. LL here from the Etsy Entrepreneur Podcast. Today, I want to talk about starting your Etsy shop and getting your first sale on Etsy. So this is where a lot of people get tripped up and they don't open their Etsy shop and they're scared of opening their Etsy shop. And this is where I want to kind of motivate you to get past that, get past your fears um, and just get the mindset that you're going to get that Etsy shop open. A lot of people are scared that people aren't going to buy their stuff. Maybe they don't have the right stuff to sell. Um, but you really don't know until you get that shop opened and you actually give it a shot. The absolute worst case is your stuff doesn't sell uh, and you can start again. Uh, best case is it does sell and you're going to look back and be thankful that you did that and you move forward in that journey. You can set yourself up for success by doing the right background research on your item before you sell it. So a lot of those fears may be coming from the unknowns that you didn't research beforehand. So you want to make sure that A, you're interested in what you're going to sell. You don't want to sell something just to sell it. You want to be interested in it. You want to you know, have that desire to make it. You want to be able to actually make it. Uh, so you don't really want to try and do something completely new that's uh, foreign to you. You want to have experience or at least some uh, background of, of making it in the past. You know, you don't want to start selling, you know, art and you've never done art in your life. You know, maybe that has been a hobby for you for a long time. So then you want to transition to selling online through an Etsy shop. So just make sure you have some type of background. And then from there, you want to research, uh, you know, exactly what your what type of niche you're going to sell, what type of category you're going to sell, and just make sure that you have, uh, that there is a demand for it. And then you're putting your own flavor, your own spin on what you're going to sell. Chances are you're not going to come up with something completely new. It's already going to be out there. But your flavor, your design, your your uh, however you're going to design it is going to be a little bit different. And that's fine. You're not going to go and copy things uh, exactly the way that other people are selling it. You know, If you want to sell jewelry, yours is going to be a little bit different. You're not going to go and copy the exact same jewelry that other people are selling. Or at least you shouldn't do that. Um, you you want to make your own type of, of jewelry, your own type of art, uh, your own type of designs. So I'm going to jump into uh, a tool I use uh, that's really good that will help you with this process when you have an idea of, hey, I want to sell this. I just want to make sure that people are uh, buying it and that there's a market for it. Chances are there is, but this is a way for you to double check. Um, so I'm going to dive into, I have an uh, extension called Allura. Uh, I'm partners with them, so I love the Allura app, and it's an extension for Chrome. So I already have that installed. I'm going to show you how it works. So let's say I want to do motivational uh, posters. So I'm going to do a motivational poster search, and then up here I'm going to hit the Allura button, and then it's going to basically research off the search bar for motivational posters. All right, so that'll bring up uh, any keyword, the top listings using motivational poster, and you can have the at the top here, it'll be the average favors in 30 days per listing, the typical price, um, and the number of sales in 30 days. And then it gives you a score from zero to 10 based, based on sales and demand. Um, so you can see this keyword's pretty good. Uh, it's getting you know an average of six sales in 30 days. And then down here, it has the individual listings. So I'm using this to search demand, right? So I want to search uh, for, or I want to sort by revenue. And you see the top listing has made $7,000 in the last 30 days. So they had 78 sales. Uh, so the demand is pretty good for this keyword. Now, mind you, you're going to put your own flavor. Maybe you have your own motivational quote, motivational design. You're going to use this keyword for that. So you know People are buying motivational stuff. This shop has made $7,000 in 30 days. Uh, they're, you're not going to copy this. You're going to do your own flavor, but you can see that uh, they are selling a lot. Even this shop has made $116 in 30 days off of their uh, motivational poster. Um, so that's still really good. I'm, I'm clicking on it, and it's loading up right now. Uh, so it's a Michael Jordan poster. Uh, this one is probably going to be copyrighted, so you wouldn't want to do that. Uh, but you can maybe do a, a different type of quote, different type of motivational poster to kind of see the demand there. So 
there's a lot of demand for it. A lot of these listings are making anywhere from, you can scroll through here and sort by revenue. You can sort by favorites. You can sort by price. However you want to do it, you can click right into the listing and go to the listing itself and go to the shop and kind of see what else they're selling. Um, but it's a great way to see demand for specific niches out there to do that research. So I would highly recommend if you're thinking about doing a specific niche to make sure you're doing your product research to search for demand. And mind you, you're going to be using, if you're doing a motivational poster, you're going to be using tons of different keywords, not just motivational poster, you know, inspirational poster, um, you know, quote poster, uh, entrepreneur poster. There's a lot of different keywords you can use and you're going to use those keywords in your listing. So you can use those uh, to start your search and check for demand. So that comes into doing the appropriate research just to make sure that you're set up for success. So you know that the demand is there for motivational posters. So now we just have to move forward and get your shop open. You have to have an idea of a name in mind. Chances are your name is going to be taken and that's fine. You can abbreviate your name, take out the vowels, whatever you want to do. That's You can still have your brand name. You know, if it's Mike's motivational posters is taken, you know, maybe then you just want to do Mike's motivation or something like that. But the, your brand name is Mike's motivational posters. So you can abbreviate however you want to make sure that you can get that name to make it fit in Etsy. Uh, the character There is a character limit as well. Um, but don't let that trip you up. You can always change your name later. Just make sure that you get a name in there uh, and then get your shop open. Etsy, Etsy makes it really easy. You just follow the prompts uh, to get your shop open uh, and then have some listings ready to list. You want to try and get at least 10 listings up uh, right away. You don't want to open with just one listing just because the more listings you have, the more keywords you're going to have, the more chances you are of going to are going to have of being seen, and you're increasing your chances of being seen, which will increase your chances of someone buying your listing, one of your listings sooner than later. So a lot of people will open their shop up with just one listing and let it sit for a long period of time. They don't get any sales. Well, it's just one listing. You only have a certain number of keywords, which is only going to attract a certain number of traffic. So the more listings you have, the more variety of keywords you have, the more chances of being found. So it's it's a numbers game, it's a stats game. Then over time, things will improve because your shop is gonna get reviews, your shop's gonna get sales, um, your quality score is gonna go up, and then you can build off what you've already established. So just make sure that you're getting your shop open, that's the key, getting your listings up. Um, and then don't half-ass it, right? That's a you know, you want to make sure that you have good pictures. You want to make sure that you're filling out all your shop sections. Take the time to fill out your shop. You can always go back and fix it and improve it later. Uh, but don't half ass it because people will see that. Customers will see it. They're more apt to buy from a professional looking shop uh, than a shop that doesn't have anything filled out. That just has one listing, not good pictures, um, no description or very little description. So just take the extra time The the samples you need are out there with in your niche or any shop you can look and kind of see you know like i'm looking right here at these pictures and they are very good pictures these are quality pictures it builds confidence right away that hey they're taking the time to have a good picture i can clearly see what the item is it looks professional i can trust that if i buy this this is what i'm going to get now if this picture is hazy it's dark it's dingy it's hard to see i'm going to blow right past that picture and not buy that item. So that's key number one is take the extra time with your pictures. And then from there, take the extra time with your shop sections, your descriptions of your listings, um, et cetera. Just make sure that you're putting a lot of effort into it and it'll come back to you uh, in return as you move forward. The last thing I'm gonna leave you with is consistency and don't just set your shop and forget it. That's the key to success, the key to getting your first listing, the key to get your 1,000th listing, is continue to be consistent with adding listings, working on your shop, improving your shop, learning um, and testing, and continuing to move forward. Don't just put up one listing. Don't just put up five listings and let it sit for three months and then throw your hands up because you have no sales. Of course, you're not going to get any sales because you haven't done anything with your shop, right? You want to continue to move forward, 
add new listings. If your listings aren't selling, tweak the SEO, uh, continue to move forward. And then over time, it'll be like a snowball effect. You'll build momentum, get more traffic, get more sales, um, make more money, and uh, you'll turn your Etsy shop into a real business. So hopefully that helps, guys. I'm encouraging you to get started. I'll have a link below for Alora if you want to use that product research tool. It's a great tool, fantastic tool. They're always adding new features. Um, I absolutely love it for beginners and existing Etsy shop owners. You can use it to expand on what you're already doing, which is fantastic. Um, so check out the link below to that, uh, as well as some additional resources if you want to join me in my free 30-day trial of Etsy Traffic and Sales Masterclass. I'm going to throw that in there below. Join me, get access to help forum, live coaching calls, be an Etsy entrepreneur member. So I look to see you in there. Until next time, have an awesome rest of your day.